welcome D-Lab. Years back, I designed this instrument called the Micronaut. Its purpose in life was to test preamplifier tubes and allow you to visually see if they're microphonic using an oscilloscope. So this unit has dual meters and it's looking at each triode in, say, a 12AX7. It can also test octal tubes and 7-pin tubes. Many asked me why I didn't produce more of these units. Well, simply because you had to have an oscilloscope to test these tubes. So I thought, let's develop a new Micronaut where the common person can have it maybe in their studio or in their repair shop and not have to use a scope to detect microphonics. So this is the Micronaut 2. It's under development. I'm debugging it right now, but it is working. It has a built-in speaker and an amplifier. It's much less complicated, as you can see. There's still a meter for a wellness check of the tube, and it does the same function, but allows you to hear it audibly or display it on a scope. Let's quickly review the Micronaut 2. Top side, you got three sockets, an octal for six SL7s, six SN7s, nine pin for 12AX, 12AT, or AU7s, and then a seven pin for 6AV6 and 6AT6s. Front panel, of course we have the built-in speaker. These are audio input jacks in case you want to inject or play your guitar through this unit. Volume control. This is a switch for the triodes. This is triode one, triode two. This selector is for variable bias, one milliamp, two milliamp, or three milliamp drive, depending on the tube that you're testing. In position one, the variable pot is engaged, which allows you to adjust gain on a 12AX7 tube. It is not functional in the three other positions. Then you have your outputs. This is for monitoring your audio either with an amp or a scope. And then we have the wellness meter. So when you plug in a tube, you will see the current draw of that, in this case, 12AX7. It should swing up to approximately three quarters, indicating one milliamp of current flow. So there's no power switch on the Micronaut. It simply activates when you plug it in. You insert your 12AX7 in this case. I'm going to be at position 2, which is fixed current at 1 milliamps. And there is the current draw on triode 1. Take a look at the scope. You tap. She's pretty clean. Go over to triode 2. Same thing. That is a good operating tube, nice and quiet. Now, let's put in one that has a known problem. This is an old GE. Let's see what we get. So watch your wellness meter. Here she comes. Pretty slow. So already this is a weak 12AX7. Let's see if it's microphonic. Oh yeah. And you can see down the scope. Isn't that nice? Let's check triode 2. Triode 2 does have some noise. You can hear it. But not as bad as side A, huh? Oh yeah. That's nice. Okay, let's try another 12X7. This one has a strange whooshing sound when she fires up. Let's see if we can see it. I can hear it, but the scope did not detect it. Let me see, she's got some loose elements in there. And there's the other side. Now if I went to variable bias, I can kind of turbo boost this guy a little bit. Put some more current through the tube. It becomes a little more active on the amplifier. And now back to a good clean operating 12AX7. There she 
comes. You do not need the volume up. You can turn the volume all the way down and just watch the scope. Okay? It has nothing to do with that volume setting. For the fun of it, let's pop in a 6SL7. So you can just pop in the tube. There are no switches to flip. The Micronaut is set up on the tube base for the test. So there is the 6SL7. Triode 1 appears good. There's triode 2. Oh. Listen to that. It's like a little bell. When you see it on the scope, let's give it some more current. See if we can excite that even more. <laughs> Interesting. What a great little device, huh? Another thing the Micronaut will do that tube checkers can't detect is heater to filament leakage resulting in hum. So right now I have a 6AV6 tube installed. It appears to be pretty good, nice and quiet. This one though, on the other hand, has some heater leakage. Let's see what that sounds and looks like. Let me test. Here it comes. So you can hear that leakage, and there it is on the scope. Obviously, you would not want to run that tube in your amplifier. So in the past, many said, man, that's a cool device, but can it test an EF86? Yes, it can. I've made a little socket adapter. So this plugs in to the octal socket on the Micronaut. And you can listen to your EF86. All right, this is an old crusty Amperex. Obviously very microphonic. She's in bad shape. Let me put in a good one now. You can see the difference. So here's a new old stock EF86. There she is. So for the fun of it, let's hook up a looper and you can hear this tube actually play music. So I've hooked up a looper. You can see it on the scope. So a pretty neat way to diagnose preamp tubes and actually see, as well as hear, their performance. Well, the next step for the Micronaut 2 is to disassemble it and add the graphics. And I have enough materials to build one more. So at this point, one will remain at D-Lab and one will be available. So I'll be posting updates as this project matures. Eventually, they'll be available on dlabelectronics.com offerings tab. So keep an eye out.